In the previous episode, we found out that it was none other than the Dark Templar Zeratu who was the one that killed Zas. However, right when the Psyblade touched Zas, the Overmind, who is obviously connected to his entire swarm, could briefly read the mind of the Dark Templar, and he found out the exact location of the homeworld of the Protoss known as Ayr. Now, before warping his entire swarm across the galaxy to close proximity of Ayr, he tasked Kerrigan to go ahead and destroy every single remaining Protoss on Char, hoping that of course he would find none other than either Tessadar or Zeratul himself, but neither of them were present. Tessadar and the Dark Templar Zeratul survived Kerrigan's vicious attacks, but their Templar armies have been decimated. Kerrigan, left behind to hunt down and eradicate the remaining Protoss warriors, begins to scour the burning wastelands of Char for her elusive prey. Meanwhile, the entirety of the extended Zerg swarm teleported through the space-time and began its long-awaited invasion of the hated Protoss homeworld of Ayr. The invasion of Ayr, Zerg swarm in high orbit over the Protoss homeworld. That is awesome. My children, the hour of our victory is at hand. For upon this world of Ayr shall we incorporate the strongest known species into our fold. Then shall we be the greatest of creation's children. We shall be... Perfect. Yet before I can be made manifest upon this world, the way must be prepared. You must seize the Kedaran Crystals, for within them lies power undreamed of by the Kotas. Go now, my Cerebrate. Secure the crystals and bring swift wrath to all who oppose the swarm. I am really loving this. So our objective for this mission is to go ahead and bring a drone to the Kaideran Crystal Formation. Alrighty. So here we are. So we actually have a mission right here without Kerrigan once again, interestingly enough. Uh, we do already start off with an evolution chamber, so I guess I may as well go ahead and actually I think I'm gonna go for carapace because I'm not sure yet what units I will be uh, I will be creating in this mission Now it's our goal to bring a drone over there So I'm assuming that that is not going to be the easiest task and I'm assuming we will find uh, quite a lot of protos units At the very least uh, intercepting us when we try and cross the map So let's get started right here by doing a little bit of scouting to see if there's maybe a second base somewhere because I think if we are uh, if we are going to uh, you know fight a rather big Protoss army, we may very well need a second base as well, just to make sure that we can uh, get sufficient amounts of resources. Now, so far, seems a little bit empty. Um, there are some rock formations over here. Ooh. You think that could be a base? I'm not seeing any mineral patches just yet, but I guess I could go ahead and, uh, and attack that here in just a second. Um, let's get started as well by creating ourselves a Hydra then. Which, I've, I've skipped a couple of times already in some of these missions, but really every single time I have. I kind of wished I had it anyway, just a little while later. So I think I'm better off just simply creating it right from the get-go. Just because I do need some anti-air and... I mean, Scourge and Mutas are all fine and dandy, but uh, Mutas... Uh, and Scourge, they're just a little bit less reliable, I suppose. Hydras, they're easy to make, they're not very expensive, they're not a very big commitment, and... They're always good to mix in, at the very least, uh, into uh, most of the unit compositions. So let's get started by upgrading them as well. Um, I wonder if there's gonna be any Dark Templar over here. I'm not entirely sure. Now, there are more and more... Uh, cannons here, so... Maybe we should just spend some time, build up a, a reasonably large force. I think that's probably our best bet. So, I think it's about one and a half or so drone per mineral patch. There's about two, four, six, about, I don't know, ten-ish drones right here that we are going to need at the very least. So, I'm assuming here we're going to need at least, like, 15 drones on minerals and then about three or four onto the gas geyser. Actually, the positioning of my second, uh, second hatchery right there hopefully makes this a little bit easier as well just because that's gonna return or that's gonna at the very least like shorten the return rate right here of that extractor right there um i wonder if i could just like load in an overlord and just drop a zirkling right over there or like drop the drone right over there i don't think that's gonna be possible but it certainly does look like that would be an option 
Alrighty, so I got one control group worth of Hydras right here. I think we'll see if we can go ahead and uh, maybe take down some of these cannons. I think that's gonna be quite helpful. And hopefully there's gonna be a base hiding somewhere here in the corner. I think that would be great. Hydras, of course, very nice at cleaning up most of these compositions. Honestly, Hydras are great against Protoss in general. Still trying to produce as much as I can at home as well, because so far I'm not really getting all too much value out of uh, out of these units. I mean, am I really going to be able to tech up towards the Hive here? I, I can go ahead and do so, but I don't really have the economy to properly... Uh... Ooh, this is what I was hoping for. Nice. I was going to say, I don't really have the economy to properly uh, to properly run Hive tech, right? So let's go ahead and see if we can get a base started over here. I do not know where. Is it going to fit in this little... Oh, just barely. Do I want more minerals or more gas? I guess I want more gas, so I'll, I'll just put it a little bit down there. Very nice. Um, I guess we can continue on it for a little while longer, though. Destroy some more of these units. There we go. Very nice. Ooh, gotta be careful here, Loco. Trying to micro! Trying to micro my ass off! But, there's still uh, a little bit too much protos here. Just a little bit too much protos here for the time being. Alright, let's go ahead and, um, and get up to a hive den. We may as well. Let's get this base started. And actually, apparently I accidentally send, spent my resources there before that, uh, before that drone arrived. So let's go ahead and cancel those hydras just for a little while longer. And start up the hatchery here on this side of the map. Uh, for now, I actually think I'm gonna rally some workers right over that, right over in that direction. Because I think I'm gonna need, well, at least like an additional 10 or 12 or so. Just because I will definitely need the resources that I can gather from here. Um, so we are indeed going up against, once again, quite a bunch of these really powerful units. I'm kind of leaning towards going for, uh, for Guardians. Guardians are gonna be incredible. In particular in these, like tight areas, right? Like, for example, the one that we just engaged. These tight chokes are pretty tricky to uh, to move into when you are playing a ground-based army. So I feel like if we manage to... Um, I feel like if we manage to, uh, at the very least, uh, get ourselves some air units out, obviously, we don't really care too much about that pathing anymore. Let's go ahead and get that gas started, too. There we go. For now, I'm not really gonna let them mine just yet. But we'll go ahead and get a spire here. We'll go ahead and get that hive, and I think I'm gonna try and see if I can maybe get a control group worth of units uh, that can all fly around on the battlefield. And then I probably still will need some, uh, you know, some units as well to support, uh, you know, those air units, just in case there's gonna be a bunch of uh, a bunch of scouts or you know maybe some other higher tier units available as well that are just simply gonna be a pain to deal with. So far, though, apparently this drone did not want to start up that base. Hashtag just brute war things. But so far, we did just finish up the construction of that base. That means that shortly I'm going to be able to start mining from it. Hive is done right now as well, so I'll go ahead and get the Adreno Glance upgrade right from the get-go. Which I do really like. I actually think I'm going to send a couple of drones over in this direction. Could probably use just a handful. Um, we'll start up the, um, the Adreno Glance upgrade, which is awesome. And then we'll morph this into a greater Spire right from the get-go. So we'll go for uh, a bunch of Zerklings right here. Then a few Mutalisk as well. And um, I think at that point we're going to be able to start uh, really building up a very powerful force. Now there are still more and more Protoss units moving across, which is a little annoying. I think we're going to gather our troops over here. So let's start up some Mutas. As many as we can afford, that is. I'll probably go ahead and get plus one melee here as well for my, uh, for my Zerklings. Let's get some overlords going as well, just because we are going to need them. And um, let's go ahead and send you to the minerals here as well. So right now we got two gases going, and we should be able to start building up a much more powerful force. So give me a second, I'll try and see if I can uh, get a control group worth of guardians. Alrighty, so here we go. So I got one control group worth of... Um... Wow, what are you guys doing here? Did you just kill a drone, mate? That was not cool. Anyway, I got one control group worth of Hydralisk. One control group worth of Mutalisk as well. And I was thinking about morphing all of my Mutas into Guardians all at the same time. 
Although that's gonna, you know, it takes too long. Let's wait until a thousand gas. All right. I guess we're kind of committed though. I guess we are kind of committed. Maybe we should go ahead and um, construct some of these buildings just in case. There we go. Did he just actually kill something here? I guess he killed my single building uh, or my single. Uh, What's it called? Uh, he must have killed my single uh, sunken colony right there. Anyway, so right now we've almost got enough gas. There we go. Let's morph them all in. Whew! That is one control group worth of guardians. Very powerful. All right, very good. Uh, let's go ahead and get you guys to mining. I'm sorry, excuse me. Get you guys to mining. Go ahead. I'll get some sunkens over here as well. And I guess the same can be said for these drones that decided to make their way over here. Um, let's go ahead and morph these guys into sunkens too. All right. So that should make my base, you know, mostly defended. Let's go ahead and start pushing forward right now. So we got a control group worth of these units. Now they are insanely good. Let's go ahead and get some more upgrades on them as well, just because we can. Plus, these things that have been giving me a lot of trouble, they cannot quite shoot up. All right. Zorklings, by the way, do have adrenal glands, which is nice. I should probably go ahead and get uh, a second upgrade right there as well. All right, you guys back up. There's really no reason for you to be this close. I saw that thing. I saw you. No, 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 don't try and run away from me, Mr. Slug. All right, here we go. Uh, gonna set my rally points over here for all four of my hatcheries, and I guess I'll rally Zerklings in. Zerklings are pretty disposable. The gas is really what we're lacking, of course, and Zerklings actually do a uh, an insane amount of damage. Right here, we can just simply start pushing ahead with the Guardians that we've got. Very nice. Um, I'm wondering if I should get any more upgrades. I mean, I don't really need to tech switch here, I don't think. Can you guys also help out kill these things? Very good. Wonder if I uh, should try and see if I can uh, kill these shuttles. I don't know actually if they contain any units, so it's just a bunch of zealots. All right, well, zealots we can deal with. And at this point, I mean, we're just pushing onwards, right? I'm just trying to uh, rally as many units across. So I got control groups for three. Like, I wonder if I should set up any more control groups than just three, to be honest. I got control groups worth for, uh, for three different kinds of units. So I got Zerkings on three, Hydras on two, and then, you know, these Guardians on, uh, on one. Apparently there's an Arbiter there here, though. Doesn't Arbiter have an arrow attack? I am not entirely sure. No, I don't think so. Although we may have to deal with this thing anyway. But I wonder if it's worth it for me to go ahead and like use four, five, and six as well for control groups, which right now, whew, this is actually kind of bad for me. I don't actually have enough right now to uh, to stop these units. There's mutas flying across though. I think I'm gonna have to reinforce with hydros. But I wonder if I'm gonna have to have a, you know, if I'm gonna have enough here to potentially deal with this. With just, um, with just three control groups. I heard that apparently Jadong only uses three control groups, which is quite surprising to say the least. Man, these things are insane. Look at them. Just a single carrier. I think we're gonna have to regroup and like find a bigger army once again, because just simply rallying across, which is what I was hoping for, is apparently not quite enough to stop this. Uh, I could of course just make some Scourge as well, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and do exactly that. And uh, we'll just regroup for just a split second. I may want to make a couple more hatcheries here in case. Probably if I tried really hard though, I could have just run a drone in there. Which is my main quest objective, right? I could have probably just done that. Apparently they're attacking me right now. Are you sure about this, guys? But do you guys think that's enough though? Like, three control groups worth for your units. Because at some point, it feels like you just run out of space. At some point, you just feel like you uh, you run out of space to uh, hold key your army to. In particular with Zerk, because like, you know, one control group worth of Zerklings is like a handful of supply, right? It's really not that impressive. Ooh, apparently uh, this big flying thing, though, is currently getting into my mineral line. I don't really want to deal with that. Suicide him in! Did he just get recalled? Wow. That was really offensive right there by my, uh, by my opponent. All right, you know what? I think it's time to go. You guys are gonna be hotkey number one. This is gonna be some messy hotkeying for sure. You guys are gonna be hotkey number one. Get over here. 
You are gonna be part of hotkey number three. Congratulations. And I guess for you, I don't really have a hotkey group, so I'm just gonna set the rally point right over here. And hope you guys are all gonna rally, you know, at least decently well. Because already I've got so many hotkeys for my uh, for my bases that it gets kind of messy. Anyway, 1A, 2A, 3A, box clicks as well. Go ahead, grab a worker. Apparently this thing is once again uh, ready to uh, deal damage to us. This is rather annoying though. He's rather low though. Here we go, get him. Get him! Good. Alright, you guys get across. And actually, there we are. Where's the drone at? Mr. Drone, I need you to go ahead and uh, and go into this, uh, this Zerg beacon. I hope you're not going to be a high attack priority. Because I kind of do need these other guys to uh, to export, or rather to uh, to transport you towards this location. But there we go. Next to that massive Kyderian crystal formation. Man, Arbiters, you guys are good too. Very powerful unit, but here we are. Did the I do it? Is being harvested. I think I did it. Ten minutes until harvesting is complete. <gasps> Hold off the Protoss forces while the drone... Wait, 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 wait. I wasn't warned about this. Get over! Oh no! I thought I was done! Alright. Get more mutas across the map then, I need more guardians for this kind of stuff. Oh, I was not anticipating this part whatsoever. Also, I don't actually know if I'm gonna need any... I wonder if I'm gonna need any overlords here. I like how the game doesn't give you any kind of warning for this kind of stuff at all, by the way. It's just all of a sudden, it's like, LOL, by the way, you need to hold on for 10 minutes as well. Don't worry about it, guys. It's gonna be fine. It'll be fine. Before we do anything, I think I'm gonna go ahead and save. There we are. Now, of course, these are StarCraft missions or StarCraft minutes. So they seem to go by a little bit faster than regular minutes do. Just because I am playing on the fastest game speed. Alright, go ahead. Take down the Arbiter, please. This thing has been a pain. It recalled my, uh, my army back as well. Alright, there we go. If I can just simply stand in this location, though, it's gonna be pretty good for me as well, right? So I guess I'll rally mostly Zerklings across. Phew! Producing units, though, it's uh, it's kind of a task. I know you're supposed to, like, bind a camera hotkey, by the way, if you want to play this real efficiently. Alright, anyway, we'll just uh, position our units all over this place. And I'll spread them out as much as possible, just because of the fact that... Protoss units got this nasty tendency to, like, do a lot of splash damage. Most notably, of course, we got the High Templar with our Psionic Storm and also the Reverse, who will just deal a heck of a lot of damage. There we go. There must be a push, right? They're not just gonna put a timer on here and then, like, not push. Although that does sound like a 1998 title to me. <laughs> it's like, DEFEND THE DRONE AT ALL COSTS! By the way, there's nothing that's actually gonna threaten it. Alright, five minutes. Very close. It's gonna take a while, though, to just simply mine this, right? Would have sent more and more Hydras in. The Jack of all trade unit. Get some overlords everywhere, just for detections purposes. Exactly. By the way, I think this is a great timing to go ahead and activate the Radio Free Zerg. Now, for the longest time, I assumed that this was a cheat code. Oh, by the way, we are getting attacked. I don't know, though. Wait, I'm not hearing anything. Hold up. Oh, there we are. So, supposedly this is a, a song that plays in the background. I did a little bit of research, because obviously I don't want to play with cheats. Woo! What? I did a little bit of research, making sure that it wasn't actually a gameplay affecting cheat. Wow. Welcome to my Zerg Wraith. I'm ready for it. Let's dance. <laughs> Alright, well, there was a, a slight little push towards the center of the map, but I feel like these last two minutes, I mean... This is awesome, actually. 
Why did nobody tell me about this Radio Free Zerg thing before? Nah, I'm just kidding. I've seen literally like hundreds of comments. Alright, apparently they are pushing in. One minute remaining! That is awesome! It's quite literally a Zerg rave party. This is what the Zergs do after hours. After they kill the Protoss units. Dude, I really don't care about you very much, Mr. Carrier. I've been assigned to Harvest from the Zerg Beacon, but great stuff, Mr. Overmind. Beautiful. Alright, so we have indeed successfully... Oh, no, he's not done yet. We have indeed successfully made our way uh, towards the center of the map, and I think we got it. Harvesting is complete. Bring the Kadir. Oh, man. I thought we were done. All right, everyone. Back home. Back home. Bring this drone back to safety. Everyone, go back home. I know you were raving and you were on a, you know, on your, on your party mode, but we gotta go ahead and escort this little droner, dude. Whew. All right. Oh, the music is still very loud now, isn't it? Look at my ears. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're gonna have to deal with it for a little bit. Way too lazy to turn it down right now. All right, here we go. Whew. Finally got that Zerg beacon back in here. Cerebrate. The Kateran crystals are in our possession. Now. All shall tremble before the might of the swarm. All forces are under attack. Is that it? Have you completed it? We most definitely have. Guys, I hope you enjoyed watching this episode. If you did, make sure you hit that like button down below. And of course, if you want to see more, you know what to do. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you get a notification as soon as I upload more. Other than that, I want to thank you very much so for watching. Have an amazing day. Do not forget to smile, alright? And I'll see you in the next one.